Hey Virgo, welcome into the gift of time. If you're new to the channel, a very warm welcome. I'm also a Virgo born on the 13th of September, 1988. This is going to be an inventory spread, picks up on past, present and future energy. I love to see the chariot card on the bottom of the deck. It kind of indicates that a lot of you guys are stepping into your power there's a lot of victory here you're in a very powerful position whether you know it or not a lot of determined energy virgo so keep it up shouts out to you virgo shouts out to all my fellow virgos okay sometimes we're unlucky in love <laughs> i know but um like for me we just want something real we just want stability consistency like we don't ask for much you know good head <laughs> <laughs> don't ask for much at all past energy for virgo past energy the emperor card this is an aries energy okay divine masculine past energy for virgo eight of swords there's a stuck energy now it could be on a particular person and actually not there is there was stuck energy okay so someone from the past perhaps one more card for past energy for Virgo. Judgment card. So you guys realizing something here. Still the chariot card on the bottom of the deck. Good. Maybe um, look, you're realizing something here. You could have been stuck over somebody, stuck on somebody, stuck in love. Uh, this this could be a particular person, this emperor card energy. It doesn't have to be an Aries. Let's just go with the... Uh, the energy around emperor energy this is someone that likes to wear the trousers quite a character in fact some of you guys could be dealing with a fire sign we also have scorpio energy here libra gemini aquarius doesn't have to be those signs but um yeah somebody that's quite stubborn always on the go likes to wear the trousers can have a bit of a temper and i feel like um for some of you guys you you've been stuck here you were feeling stuck. You were feeling trapped. Now, this could be like emotionally as well. You know, like if you feel emotionally stuck in a situation, like find it hard to get over somebody or a particular phase of your life, a particular situation. The month of March or April may have some sort of significance here. And then we get this realization. Now, also the month of October or November may have some sort of significance here in between the time of March and November, October times, okay? Not going to resonate with everybody. This is like some sort of inner calling for you, Virgo. You know, Phoenix rising from the ashes. You know, perhaps in, you know, you've been in that energy where you've judged yourself, you've judged others, you found it hard to forgive yourself, forgive others. We'll get clarification. But what I like here is this judgment card because it shows me that you guys are realizing something here. So good for you, Virgo. All right, let's get into present energy for Virgo. Present energy. There's a bit too many cards. Present energy for Virgo. What is the present energy? Way too much cards. But uh, <laughs> I'm going to quickly talk about this, okay? So the majority of you guys are single or you walked away from a situation, um, an emotional situation, something's been closed off that I feel like a lot of you guys had a lot of hope for. You know, it could have been with this King of Pentacles energy, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. It could have been somebody that's got their own business. It could be just an energy of you guys, you know, wanting consistency, stability, you know, something that's quite grounded. But again, it feels like it's come to an end. This could have been karmic lessons. I think it caused you a lot of anxiety, you know, but I reckon that's just um, an indication of what's gone on rather than the present energy what's the present energy for virgo please guide us what is the present energy four of swords i love to see it virgo some of you guys are definitely needing a vacation okay a holiday um this is all about self-love self-care taking care of your tender heart there's been a lot of thoughts here with the Four of Swords. You don't want to burn out. You know, sometimes we feel like, oh, I just need a break um, from my current reality. I need to step away. I need to take a rest, a deep rest. Self-care, you know. Give me two more cards for the present energy. Present energy for my Virgos. Five of Pentacles. 
I need a break from responsibility. I feel like a lot of you guys feel like you're kind of like an outside soul. You're perhaps misunderstood a lot of the time. You struggle um, in certain aspects of your life that could be financially, you know, bills need to be paid and so forth. Like today I paid my bills and I was just like, my goodness, the cost of living, it's just like bill after bill after bill and they've all gone up and stuff like that. Um, I feel like a lot of you guys feel, again, like an outsider, misunderstood. I get it, Virgo. And I feel like some of you guys are shutting shutting people out. Ooh. So someone from the past. Um, it could be that people from the past are re-entering your life, okay, with the two of cups here. It could be someone that you really actually had, someone that you're really fond of, Okay. So I feel, okay, so I just feel like as a whole, looking at these four cards here, you know, people people from the past may try to reconnect with you, but I feel like a lot of you guys may be shutting it down or you're just needing to implement self-care, self-love. You've realized something here in the recent past and that may be that you don't want to reconnect with people now from the past. You know, you, you're making a choice here. And for some of you guys, it feels very, um, it feels like, What's the word? I feel like there's good reason for you to feel like this. You know, whether if you're not wanting to connect with someone from the past or a particular energy, it's for good reason, Virgo. And I feel like a lot of you guys are trying your best to kind of like implement self-love, take care of you. Like who... Who's going to take care of you? Like you've got to be, sometimes people let us down in life, right? But you've got to be able to fall back on yourself and take care of you that kind of energy what's the forward energy what is the future energy for virgo future energy for virgo let's uh, turn that around future energy for the virgos too many cards this four of cups really wanting to come out here so i feel like a lot of you guys are withdrawing from emotional situations it's come out again so i'm going to respect it I, I, okay, so I feel like there's a lot of energy of letting go. Like a, lo a lot of you are quite bored and frustrated, and it could be with your current circumstances. It could be repetitive patterns. That hanging man shows me that you guys are seeing stuff from a different perspective. Okay, um, and it's almost like it's almost like letting go. The hanging man is definitely letting go energy here. So I feel like a lot of you guys are letting go from emotional situation, letting go of. The shoulda, woulda, couldas, letting go of, of people that are perhaps letting you go or not holding on to you, you know. Hanging man energy. I kind of love it because it's that say love e card, you know. I'm just going to give my cares and concerns to the universe. And whatever's meant for me is going to be for me, you know. It feels like um, you're definitely, definitely letting go. Letting go of anxiety, letting go of emotions that perhaps don't serve you. One more card for future energy for Virgo. Yeah, you see the devil card here. It's kind of like a release and it feels quite, um, what's the word? It feels like it's a ritual. You know, there's a ritual here of releasing stuff that no longer serves you you know we have the nine of pentacles here on the bottom of the deck so a lot of you guys are stepping into your power focusing on your money you know um i feel like you've been hurt a lot you know there's your heart is tender virgo and what we do on default yeah right to no longer kind of probably deal with our emotions we kind of work on our finances i see like finances here are pretty good i feel like a lot of you guys are stepping in your power there's going to be opportunities here for love but um i just don't know if you are really that bothered or interested in love i think what i'm going to do is leave this reading here and i'm going to do a to be continued but with regards to love so we're going to go and pick up on your person's energy we're going to pick up on what's coming towards you in love and all of that jazz what i will do is pull out an oracle message What's the oracle message for Virgo? Yeah, but overall, like, I just feel like um, you're realising something here. There's a need for self-care. There is a longing for a vacation or just resting. You don't want to burn out. You don't want to repeat same 
situations, whether it's people from the past, you know, um, a particular breakup. I feel like you guys are trying to make a, a valid choice here to release what no longer serves you. And you're definitely in that energy of like, whatever it is, what it is, you know, what's meant for me is going to be for me. So we've got two cards here, two Oracle cards. Where you put your focus is where you receive your outcome. Mm -hmm. Your priorities are calling to you, which may produce a feeling of anxiety unless you give them the time and attention they and you deserve. Even a small amount of time devoted to your priorities will help you feel better and more confident. Focus on your priorities. Focus on what's more important. I suppose. And I saw a white feather today as I was on my way to get my groceries. And at that particular moment, I was feeling quite down and I was like, I want to get high. You know, for those of you um, that didn't know, like I smoked cannabis for many years of my life. I haven't smoked cannabis in like, I think six, seven months now. And at that moment, I saw the white feather and I was like, all right, I think that's the universe saying that I'm proud of you, proud of you gifted, you know, you've got this far, keep pushing forward. It's a little side note there. So focus on what's important to you in life, okay? It is safe for you to receive. The more you allow yourself to receive, the more resources you have available to share with others. Open your arms to receive and be a conduit for good coming to you and through you as it blesses the world it's safe for you to receive it's safe for you to get what you deserve you know and i know a lot of that is happiness you deserve to be happy so do what's best for you virgo keep pushing forward i hope you found that this resonated with you in some way please remember to smash the thumbs button you can book me for a personal follow me on the socials and catch me for live tarot but for now beautiful virgo as i always say kind to others but most importantly be kind to you and i'll catch you on the rebound Mwah.